<laughs> Alright, yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Proxy, that's from Suspect Gaming. And uh, 2K17 dropped a. Uh, Mike Wang dropped an a article. It explains a whole lot of shit that in, that's coming up in 2K. It explains a lot. It explains more than I even thought it would explain. You know, the articles they be dropping. The articles they be dropping just be explaining shit that you don't need to know, but this shit actually explains a lot. And uh, there's the article over here. Before I get into this though, and I highlighted everything that this is the full article. I highlighted everything that's important because I can see it's a long ass article. So uh, I I read this shit about three times, and uh, I just highlighted everything that yeah yeah I need to. I'm I'm gonna try to get through it quick. It's probably not because it's a long ass article, but I'm probably gonna try to get to it through it quick. Now, if I don't know, la the last couple days have been very. A lot of a lot of information has dropped in the last couple of days. A lot of leaked information in 2K been Take Two. That's that's what the company's called. Take Two been shooting niggas down like copyrights, everything. Niggas getting banned on Twitter. How you get banned on Twitter for for leaked gameplay? And uh, I don't know this guy. He this guy right here. He claimed to have 2K17. And uh, but that's not even important. 2K17 is being streamed. More than once last night, I'm being streamed multiple times last night. Um, I think I, w I was watching the stream up until like three uh, at three a.m. There was a stream going on, but uh, let's get into this fucking article. There's a lot of information in here, a lot. So as you can see, now Demar Derozan, and the very first thing to say. We the, the 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 first couple paragraphs I'm gonna go through it quick because this is shit you already know. All shots, with the exception of dunks, have a timing mechanism, and the timer the timing modifier acts as a bonus, so it rewards you, but it won't punish you if you can't do it or if you ignore the shot meter completely. But uh, if you have a wide open lane or if you're finishing on a fast break and there's no one around, you're not gonna miss the layup. You're gonna make the layup even if you completely ignore the timing feature. All right. Uh, for perimeter jump shots, you use the pro stick. You now need to pull straight down, or you need to go. You need to push this thing straight up. Um, the pro stick will give you an extra boost for making these shots. So his advice is to migrate to the pro stick for uh, long range, long range shooting. And um, it's a risk reward me mechanic in that you actually might be hurting your shooting percentage if you're not using it consistently. So if you're not being consistent with how you how you move up and down with the pro stick if you're not doing it right then you can actually hurt yourself you might just want to use square but uh, he said the only thing he th I can only shoot with the pro stick but uh, other people in the office say that they use uh, the square all right this year you want to fill the meter halfway up I already know about this this meter thing when I looked at the gameplay when I was looking at the, the, the game the stream last night and I got a couple videos and stuff myself but uh, I'm not finna leave nothing because <laughs> they re they really with the, the strikes, man. Uh, unless you've been living under a rock, you already know how it looks. They I've, I've seen the my court, the my career, it's the story. I, I haven't seen the whole story, but I've seen I've seen the regular shit that that you'll see in the beginning of the game. All the shit that you're probably gonna see September 9th, I've probably seen all that shit. And uh, yeah, release the shot with having with not um without having to stare at your player's feet. Uh, that I guess that's a that's a bonus. I don't really like how it looks from from what I seen. I don't really like how it looks. I don't think I'll be. I don't know. I'm I'm probably not gonna be a big fan of that the new the new shot meter. But I'm gonna have to use it all year. So eventually I'm gonna have to get adjusted to it. So, um, you'll notice a thin red circle around the meter when you're standing in a, a player's real life hot spot. So. Uh, I guess Steph Curry gonna have a fucking red meter all around the perimeter. And a blue sucker if you're standing in a cold spot, <laughs> LeBron. And if the arrow is way to the left, then okay, it's just shot feedback. If the arrow is way to the left and you miss the shot, you'll miss it to the left. Vice versa, if you if the arrow is pointing to the right, you'll miss the shot to the right. So the rebound is gonna go to the right. That's um that's what the pro stick. And here's some big shit. No more green light. When I when I seen this I was a little hyped, but then I started to read and I'm thinking that green lights are probably gonna be really, really rare, not as often as you've seen it in um in two K sixteen and fifteen. 
and uh, one that okay uh, evasive versus strong layups you get more control over how your layup comes out moving the pro stick towards the basket you're gonna attempt a strong finish at the rim but if you move this trick if you move the stick to the left or to the right you will perform an evasive layup if you don't know strong layup is like going to the rack like LeBron you cuss the ball or he he don't be trying to move he don't be trying to do the uh, the 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 hop step he don't do the euro or nothing like that he just he goes to people's chest and when I think evasive layup you got to think like players like D Rose who go who, who go up and then they bring it down and they bring it to the other side or guys like Jamal Crawford or Kyrie when he does his uh reverses his reverse layup and yeah those are uh, a couple of examples it says uh you can probably choose between a scoop layup or a float I don't know if you uh it says that they give you. The, I, I don't know how you'll be able to choose, but those are the, probably two options for the evasive layup. Really, uh, really important to know your timing when using the evade layup. So, so they probably go in much more than the uh, than the strong layups. You just have to time them right. And uh, ball handling, singles to size up. Didn't have that one-to-one -one feel of chaining together moves that our past games had. You would input a single command, and the ball handler would play out a long. Mo oh yeah, so you all you have to do is hold turbo, flick left, flick right, and your player would do all the the, the dribble moves all by himself. But this year, it says they broke up the signature size ups into shorter combo moves. For example, Steph Curry signature between the legs behind the back combo. Uh, you you have to do the you have to do the between the legs and then go behind the back in this game now. So this game will take a lot of skill. And it says these combos can be mixed. Steph Curry between the legs, Jamal Crawford double behind the back, Kyrie double cross, all in one. So you can go between the legs, Steph Curry behind the back twice, right after that, Jamal Crawford. And then when you bring it, when you go behind the back twice, you bring it up front, double cross in the front. You just did three combos right there. So uh, yeah, that's gonna take a lot of fucking skill. But one thing, um. Spamming crossovers depletes your energy too, so you I gotta watch out for that. There's an energy, there's an energy section over here, and it says refresh all the driving ISO moves, so you'll be seeing a lot of fresh content there too. Steel system. The steel, the factors include the type. Uh, the new steel system takes into account many factors, including the type of ball hand, the the type of move the ball handling is in, how exposed or protected the ball is in relation to the defender whether the ball handler is open or is in an open space or a crowd and then of course the the player's attributes and skills you'll be seeing a lot of knockaways force pickups and strips you can also use the pro stick on defense so pushing towards the, the ball handler with a type of dig steal and pushing away from the, the ball handler will, will be able to strip the ball left or right and uh, they, they they are talking about blocks here. Weak blockers versus great blockers are accurately differentiated. Low vertical blocks will be better represented represented by the low tier players with regards to vertical and athleticism. So if you have if you're if you have a maxed out paint protector big man, he's gonna punch your shit and send it to the crowd, whereas uh uh yeah um uh let's say a stretch a stretch uh, a stretch four will probably just, you know, hit the ball and <laughs> it will probably go down or something like that. Alright, let's keep going, let's keep going. You see, y'all need to read all this shit. This article, this part right here is just them patting themselves off the back. Patting themselves on the back about their dev team and stuff. But one thing I did highlight was we've seen players get wrapped up during rebounds, reacting to glancing collisions as players brush past each other and, and everything in between. We'll read more about that later. Post game receive a huge makeover. We don't have to do too, we don't have to say too much on this. We have now much more lifelike back down moves and cutoffs are banging it down in the paint. We added hundreds of new animations crew ground and mid air collision rebounds, tip rebounds, new box outs, swims, pulling the chair. <laughs> pulling the chair. That's gonna be pretty funny to de to see. Put backs. Put backs is big, man. Put backs is big. You'll, this year you'll be seeing guys knocking the ball out of each other's hands. I saw that in the gameplay too. I saw that in the stream. Um, players coming down and wrestling the ball away, back taps, uncontrolled, catch attempts and everything. I saw the ball bounce off his head, roll down his body and <laughs> into his arms. 
So he, he went up to get the rebound. The rebound did not go in his hands. It was uh, it was Westbrook too. Able to tip the ball back in from by any angle. All right, that's I'm happy about that because two K sixteen you had to fucking run to the basket and hold it square, hoping you can get the the putback. And they don't even give you the they give you the grace of attempting to go for the rebound when you attempt to go for the putback. So, all right, let's go. There's a lot of pushing and re and, and grabbing that makes move around the court. Bigs walking their defender down to the low block will feel the struggle as they fight for position. Shooters working to get open as they run. Their baseline cuts can be bumped and chucked off course, making it much tougher to get a clean look on the perimeter. That's self explanatory. Get ready to work for those buckets, guys. <laughs> so there's a lot of new off ball uh, animations. Don't try and barely towards the basket in a straight line through the defenses. It's almost guaranteed to be a charge, lost ball, or picked up dribble. You have to take proper diving angles when going one on one. All right, okay, that's that's new. That's pretty new. I'm trying to get through this real quick because I don't want this video to be too long. I'm just gonna hi I'm just highlighting what you guys see right here. Add a new short term fatigue. All right, here's the energy. I'm just gonna read through. I'm not gonna really explain. When your energy bottoms out, your long-term fatigue starts to drain at a higher rate. You take a significant hit to several attributes and you lose the ability to sprint to sprint at full speed. So you have long-term and short-term energy. The likelihood of injury increases your consistency to wear down players. It's important this year to pace yourself and not overwork your guys. I'm thinking that's probably going to be only for... Um, I don't know if you get injuries online. That would be stupid. I'm thinking that's only for uh, for play now and my career and my team and stuff like that. The new wear and tear system also has been accurately replicate players' physical progression throughout a game or season. All right, so a game or season. Game. I don't know. Game, part game, pro end game. I don't know. I don't know. My team game. I definitely play now. All right, body parts accumulate wear based on actual events taking place on the court. All right, I know in 2K15. You'll take a jump shot, come down, be hobbling on your leg, and after the game, you go to the menu, you got a fucking concussion. Like, <laughs> they they fix that shit. The 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 AC the ACE the adaptive um coaching engine. Authentic team specific plays. This right here, when I was reading this, I was real surprised. It's authentic team specific plays. The AI's offensive attack is now deadlier than ever. Ace also features more in-game adjustments specific to whether you're in a season or in the midst of a playoff run. I was actually thinking about that not too long ago. I was like, why they play the same way throughout the whole season. So now in the playoffs, it's probably going to be even harder in different environments too. Uh, another aspect of the AI's attack is to greatly be improved, greatly improved is the AI's ability to hunt for the three. But now you will have to you virtually... You have virtual Steph Curry and Devant picking your defenses apart as they probe the perimeter and attack shoot first mentality. I was real surprised with that. But then if you got those guys on your team, if you got guys like that on your team who can who can shoot the rock like that, then you're good. But if you gotta go up against those guys, it's gonna be real tough. AI defenders now intentionally identify the most dangerous threats and move to their assignments accordingly. So when I read this the first thing I thought was badges. Um Badges like corner specialist, transition finisher, transition finisher uh, alley oop passer, and alley oop fin um, finisher. All those badges require you to be on fast breaks and stuff. So uh, the AI is probably going to be picking you up a lot more if you're in the corner, if you're on fast breaks and stuff. So it's probably going to be a lot harder to get those badges. Construct during timeouts, Ace now features a uh, new clipboard interactive flow, the ability to construct your own game plans. We've also recorded hundreds of audio lines for your assistant coach as he dynamically evaluates what's working and what's not. And he rallies the troops in the timeout huddles. This part is real cool. Construct your own game plans. That that part is real cool. Um, th these these other features are going to be uh, overlooked like one or two months after the game. One more thing I want to call out is the ability to switch matchups on the fly. This is important right here. If you're not happy with the matchups that the game generates for you, you can swap them around by going into the pause menu and make sure you have your best defenders checking the biggest threats. Pro Am crowd, this one is for you. Gotta keep that team grade up. So they they know, man. They know. 
I think I don't know if you could. I, it says in game right here. If you're not happy with your matchups, have to get all right. Yeah, so you could probably switch it in game. If somebody, if somebody you on pace for for fifty, you got your man's. That's you got somebody else who's zero for zero. You switch with that man. And and these are just notes right here. Y'all can read these other miss other miscellaneous goodies. I hope I said that shit right. Uh, y'all can read. Y'all can pause and read through this, but I just highlighted the shit that's important. You can perform alley oops to players who are much farther away from the rim. So if I want to fucking throw alley oop from half court on some Vince Carter shit, on some D Wade to LeBron shit, or some Kevin Love to LeBron shit, now uh, you could probably do that. I don't know if it's full court, but that is is a lot more highlights gonna be made. And I seen, I heard double alley oops in the game. Not sure, but um, what's the name? Shakedown said that. New overhead skip pass mechan um, mechanic lets you quickly target farther away enemies when multiple are in the line. So you probably don't have to pass the ball through the fucking defense now. You can probably skip the ball over without you having five guys pick at the ball while it's um, running through the court. Pump fake into auto. F <laughs> oh man. Wow, I'm happy about this. Pump fake auto foul calls of the pay are gone. If you do nothing on the sticks as a defender, you won't incur a shooting foul. I've had this done to me so many fucking times. It's like your hands is up in the game, and they keep pump faking and peep funk pump faking. And two K just says, "Hey man, it's your time to get a foul. <laughs> you gotta you gotta hold this foul." So I didn't got ejected forty seconds left in the game. I had five fouls. Fucking my man sent me the the video. The person was playing with me because I can't see. After after that whistle blows, you don't see nothing. Hand is up for twenty seconds in the paint. My guy cuts out, cuts back in, catches the ball right at the right time. <laughs> Dunks right over me. They call a whistle. Hand straight up. I ain't do nothing. Uh, I'm happy that shit is going. All right. These next things is pretty important. And choose between specific play styles. So here's the play styles. Slasher all positions. Shot creator, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, sharpshooter, all positions, playmaker, point guard, shooting guard, small forward. For sharpshooter, the big man it is called stretch big. It's not called sharpshooter. Lockdown defender, all positions. Glass cleaner, small forward, power forward, center. Post scorer, small forward, power forward, center. Each archetype has its own unique badges, including an exclusive Hall of Fame badge. And um and they have their own set skills and specializations. Hall of Fame badge. We'll hear more about that. The Hall of Fame badge is really cool too. Now when a player performs well with his uh specialty, a playmaker gets a lot of assists. A post marker hit a post scorer hits a few post fades. Glass cleaner pulls down a couple rebounds. He gets grand badge hot. That means that they unlock even stronger shooter abilities within their archetypes. Somebody said there's an amethyst badge. I'm not sure. There's amethyst badge um setting you know how this bronze silver gold there's an amethyst badge in there I'm not sure how they gonna implement that but the new jump shot creator you already know about this tool allows you to pick multiple release animations and the base that lets you control how these animations blend together it was like a couple years ago but now it's much more customizable if a player puts up a low percentage free throw these are some new animations in the game you'll see him lean back. Or step into the key trying to wield the ball in. So if his free throw is lot his free throw is low, or he had or he released it wrong, you'll see him lean back or lean in. But if a, a player shoots a high percentage free throw, you'll see him head back on defense early or hold this follow through. Uh, that's that's just like I mean, I think that's it. Yaka Yaka, I'll put the link in the description for this article so Yaka read all this shit. This shit is really nothing that y'all needed to know. All the defense rebound and stuff, I already covered that. Everything in here is just some comments. All the time lamps, everything was included in this. So, uh, that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, yesterday it was a whole bunch of league gameplay. Pretty much know how the game already looks. Um, no my park, no pro am, no none of that, no my team. That's that that um those servers were down. So they might they might actually stream this shit today. I, me, I literally just got, where's this shit at? Right here. I literally just got my, my Elgato mail this morning. I didn't even expect it to come this early. I swear I ordered like two days ago. I got it for the Lolo too. So I should be streaming. I'm going to be streaming September 9th.
Twitch is gonna be in the description. I'm gonna be streaming September 9th. Don't fucking miss the stream. Um, I'm probably gonna be streaming a couple days before then just to get adjusted to it. I got OBS set up and everything. All that shit is already set up. So don't don't forget to tune into the stream, man. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, is there any new tweets here? Nah. This all right? Yeah, there's no new tweets here. And that's it, man. It's been your boy Thus. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And sus out.